What's going on, fight fans? It's Capital Combat. The name says it all. I'm Rob Jarrell, and this is a short, maybe not so short, uh, preview to tonight's 130-pound matchup, Super Featherweight, featuring Mexico's Miguel the Scorpion Burchelt taking on Oscar Valdez for Burchelt's WBC Super Featherweight title uh, going down on uh, ESPN, I think. So, here we go. And as you can probably see, I am driving. And to be honest, uh, I was getting a little stagnant trying to think of content to put on while stuck in the house because we're still in a pandemic. So uh, I'm on the move and you're on the move with me too. And I find it's time to talk to you all. So, and as you, you can probably tell, this is unscripted. As is most of our videos, we like to go off the top and that's when we give our best information. So. Let's get at it. Um, we got two guys from uh, Mexico who won in Valdez is viewed as being the next great Mexican star. And um, he has the pedigree. He has the youth, athleticism, talent. And he's coached by a great coach, Eddie Reynoso, uh, who also co coaches uh, Canelo and now Andy Ruiz. So... And he has a couple of other fighters and has had really good fighters. So he's under awesome tutelage. Um, he's 28 and 0, 22 knockouts. But he's taking on a guy that I think is very overlooked when it comes to Mexican stars, the uh, next Mexican great boxer, and Miguel Burchell. Um, I'm not, I can't remember the guy he's coached under, but uh, he's 37 and 1, a very offensive, dynamic fighter. Actually, both of them are very. Uh, dynamic offensively and he's had one TKO loss that was early in his career in the first round so to be honest that could be the outlier as far as losses go and he has a no contest his last fight was a no contest on ESPN but apparently that was not sanctioned by the Mexico Boxing Commission or something like that so it was a really weird situation but nonetheless the guy has proved to be not just a handful, but he's looking to take that next step up, and so is Valdez. So you got two guys, one young, I think Valdez is in his early 20s, and I know Burchelt is roughly 29, 30, so he has much less time to really get his money, get his recognition, and uh, he's fighting the perfect guy. Both of them are fighting the per perfect guy in each other. Um, they're not sure, and you know, I hope people fans of Mexican boxers and guys they're not your typical come forward Mexican style fighter whereas come forward take as much punishment throw everything in the kitchen sink they're a little bit different they're much more polished um, Valdez is a much better stalker and when he's able to cut off the ring like he did against Adam Lopez he's very very dangerous while Burchell, on the other hand, he likes to operate from the mid-range. He will start to move, but then all of a sudden he starts moving forward on you and not just straight ahead. While the Valdez can cut off the ring, he prefers to come straight line at you. Burchell will move, but when he sets, he's letting his hands go. Um, he's a much more polished volume puncher than Valdez, who, where Valdez likes to throw one or two shots at a time, normally and he's usually either loading up or putting so much on the shots that when he lands it hurts Burchell can vary up his punches he loves to throw the looping left um he also likes to end his exchanges with the left upstairs or left to the body and when he does it usually has a lot of power on it now granted I think Valdez is better at one shot punching but Miguel Burchell is usually going to reel off some heavy leather um on his opponent and usually at the end of a three four punch combination he's dropping that left and uh you can hear it so both of these guys are hard hitters just their delivery is a little bit different um again valdez will cut off the ring but he likes to come straight he'll faint a jab throw a hard jab and come right over the top with the two um he can drop the left to the body but he's more apt to go upstairs because he's more of a He's more of a crouching position, um, inching forward. And um, 
the thing about him is because he loads up so much, I think he, even though he has pretty quick, pretty fast hands, he takes something off that speed um, to service the power. And granted, when it lands, it's going to be, it's going to hurt. But because he does that faint jab and throws the right, he kind of drops his hand. He was knocked down by Adam Lopez, who was probably one of his best opponents, um, aside from Jason Velez and Scott Quigg. Um, but he showed, it, it seemed to be a flash knockdown because he definitely showed some some good resilience by coming back and weathering the offense of uh, Adam Lopez, who does throw a lot of volume, and he is a pretty good puncher, but Valdez hard shots um, just broke him down. And what I noticed, um, when he does throw his jab or uses his hook, he tends to hide his right hand um, because a lot of times in that Lopez fight, he just didn't see it coming. Uh, same with the Velez fight. He hid it behind. He made sure to turn his body all the way around, and he will come with the overhand, a straight right. And I think he's going to have success early versus Burchelt because Burchelt, when he does open up, he does get hit. I noticed in a couple of fights, uh, Valenza fight and the Sosa fight, Sosa did come forward. Sosa did throw a lot of punches. And he did have some success going over the top with his own right hand and with the jab. Burchelt's not a big jabber. He will feign it, but he just wants you to wants you to look at it and not look at those looping shots, which he can drop whew, at almost any angle at any part of your body. Um, and I think... And I saw this in the Sosa fight as well, and I think he's going to be able to catch uh, Valdez with it. He throws a very good short right hand as a setup for his left. So if both of if him and Valdez are stepping in, look for him to throw a short right and come with a double left. Um, he's going to it's either going to be double upstairs or he's going to um, drop to the body just to get Valdez to drop his hands and come back up top with the left and I would say even though he likes to end his exchanges with the left hook come back with the right because it's going to take a lot of volume and a lot of offense to keep Valdez off him and if you can keep that up and move and not allow Valdez to set he's going to have a lot of success now granted I think Valdez being probably the more solid or Harder puncher is going to have to punch with Burchelt a lot. I don't think he's going to be able to get off first a lot. I think if he is able to get off first and pressure Burchelt and keep him from moving forward or setting his feet in the mid range, if he can keep him from setting his feet in the mid range, he's going to take something off those shots and he's going to be less likely to reel off those um, those combinations. This fight. Uh, because it's, 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 and again, I give a lot of credit to these two guys and a lot of Mexican fighters. You're going to have to beat the fight out of them. And because you have two Mexican fighters, we're going to get an all offense match. And whoever has the most subtle defense, I think Valdez does do a good job of avoiding punches, but he's not going to be able to avoid all the shots of Burchell. That's why Adam Lopez was able to knock him down because he over defended trying to move his body too much instead of staying in his face and punching with Lopez showing that he had the harder punches and I think if he decides that he wants to over move over defend try to get a little bit too cute with his defense he's going to get caught whereas if he's able to punch with Burchelt and had the shorter tighter punches uh, against Burchelt's looping punches he has a much better chance, especially if he's stepping on the inside. The much tighter punches, he'll be able to beat Burchelt to the punch. He'll be able to beat him at his own game offensively. As for a pick, it's very, a very, very difficult fight to pick. I want to pick Burchelt. I am a huge fan of Burchelt. But I think between his fights with Francisco Vargas, um, Sakashi Miura, and Jason Sosa, he hasn't had the greatest competition, but I could say the same for Valdez. I could say he had the slightly better um, 
competition, maybe, but those are a, guy, a lot of guys with a lot of losses. I think Adam Lopez, again, I think Adam Lopez had one tie and one loss um, prior to his fight against, um, against Valdez. So I'm not sure. Um, I think Burchelt will try to drown him, make him overpunch, and make him miss. And that's another thing. While Burchelt throws a lot of looping punches, the problem I see where Valdez, he loads up, he tries to put so much on his punches. But if he misses, if he misses or um, if he's parried or if he doesn't land as solidly as he needs to, his his hands are left out there. So he is left much more open, whereas Burchelt, you have to throw in between those punches. You have to present a lot of pressure and um, and you have to keep them from setting. So I'm going to take Burchell. I think this ends, it's a possibility that ends in a knockout. Um, Burchell has been knocked out before, but he showed some good whiskers since then. Uh, Oscar Valdez has not lost. He doesn't know how to lose and he knows how to come back stronger. Um, it just comes down to who wants him more at this point. Who's going to have the better game plan? Who's going to be able to stick in there? Because this is going to be fought from mid-range to close range. And um, I'm just excited to see it. I don't know if y'all are excited, but this is a very, very underrated matchup. Um, and the whole car seems to be pretty decent. I can't remember who's on there, but uh, I think they have a, a pretty good heavyweight matchup on there as well. So... That's all I got for you today. Tell me what you think. Um, I will probably not have an intro music or anything. It's probably just going to go into the fight, go into the explanation. But uh, tell us what you think. This is a great matchup. I'm looking forward to it. You should be looking forward to it. Two, um, two Mexican fighters looking to take that next step up in their career and get all get all the paydays, all the paydays. Um, let us know what you think. You can hit us up at uh, CapitalCombat at gmail.com on Facebook, Capital Combat. Same with IG. Um, definitely tell us what you think in the comment section. It's going down tonight. Uh, please be respectful to us and be respectful to yourselves. And until next time, fight on.